What's up guys, this is Zach Hampel coming to you from inside Camden Yards in Baltimore. My second day here in a row, fourth game here in the last week. This is a Watch With Zach game. We got Adam here, David on this side. The weather today is pretty bad. That's why we're starting the video inside. We didn't want to be outside getting rained on, so we're chilling here underneath the overhang of the second deck. Now I gotta tell you quickly about the last hour that we spent here. Their father owns a local restaurant called Mother's Federal Hill Grill. You can see right here what it looks like on the outside, and the inside is pretty cool. There's a large dining room, plus an area with sports memorabilia in the back. Awesome to see Cal Ripken Jr. featured prominently, and there's some football stuff as well. And oh my god, the food here is seriously amazing. 95% of it is homemade, and we just had a huge pregame meal. I started with a bowl of cream of crab soup and then had some boneless wings with two kinds of sauces, Old Bay and Buffalo Garlic. My videographer Ian got the Jerry Garcia veggie burger and you could say he was pretty happy with it. For dessert, I had fried beignets with a side of chocolate ice cream. Yes, yes, and yes. Shout out to Dave for hooking it up. That's their dad. I am so full and happy right now. And this place has only been open for like 10 minutes. You guys ready to go catch some balls? Yeah, let's do it. The New York Yankees, if you want to do a 180 right here, they are out on the field playing catch. You can see it right behind me over my shoulder. We're gonna jump down there, down to the uh, left field foul line, try to get some balls. These guys are actually pretty experienced ball hawks. Again, we'll talk more about that later, but it's time to spring into action. Come on, let's do it. Well, how about that? A little flurry of activity over on the left field foul line, many, many rows back off the field because there was a threat of lightning, so the ushers were keeping all of the fans underneath the overhang. I actually got scolded a bit for going down into the seats just for a few seconds to grab those baseballs. Now the first one, I'm not sure who threw it, found that one in the empty seats. The second one, pretty sure it was thrown by Luis Sessa, and the third was definitely thrown by Masahiro Tanaka. So three baseballs for me, I gave them to these guys, and David actually hooked up a little girl with one of those baseballs. Very nice of you to do that. And you just caught a toss up from, I'm not exactly sure. A bullpen catcher. Yeah, kind of bullpen one of the Yankees coaches, someone on the staff. So that's pretty cool. We have four baseballs combined without BP, and you can see again just how crowded it is. Whenever the Yankees are here, this place goes crazy. They actually used to call Camden Yards Yankee Stadium South for a while because it was just overrun with Yankee fans. So right now, not a whole lot going on. The grounds crew's taking the tarp off very slowly. There's still a long way to go before the game starts. So we'll wander. We definitely don't need to eat anything. And we'll see what happens next. All you guys want to say hi to YouTube? Hi YouTube! Hi YouTube! What's up, Yo! What's up, what's up? Oh, I know you know that. So I think we might as well uh, talk to you. So let me watch that. So you guys might remember Richard Blyer from the last bunch of videos I've done here, relief pitcher on the Orioles. I was just DMing him. And I was like, dude, I'm hanging out on the first base side just past where the netting ends. Come say hey if you got a minute. He wrote back and he said, okay, I'll be out in a min. So looking forward to catching up with him. One of the coolest guys in Major League Baseball. You guys ready to meet him? Yeah. Here we go. What's up, man? Here. So we got... Over here. That ball's gone. Oh, thanks. You want some mud ball? I do. Wait a second, wait a second. How about the guy in the uh, blue jersey right there? Sorry. Yes, sir. Pretty cool, right, Adam? Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, Adam, why don't you hold on to this one for me? Thanks, bro. Guys, this is Richard Blyer, <laughs> reliever on the Orioles, who's one of the nicest guys ever, like I just said. <laughs> you got to follow him on Instagram. It's just simply at Richard Blyer. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. At Richard Blyer. You can see I'm it there on the bottom of the screen. Sure. But, you know, I've noticed that the Orioles don't really promote their players a whole lot. <laughs> so this is where I step in, and I'm promoting What a guy. So, yeah. you know, what a guy give him a follow here. on Insta. Thank you. Appreciate um, it. And now we actually got to do that on Insta. Thank you. It's going right in the collection. This game is flying right along early. The entire first inning only took 10 minutes. No runs and no hits yet in this game. Now we are sitting on the first base side right behind the Orioles dugout, thanks to Dave who really hooked it up with the tickets. Our plan is basically to go for third out balls here, maybe roam for foul balls, and Bravik Valera has zero career home runs. He's batting ninth, he's a switch hitter. The Orioles have lefty John Means going. So when he comes up, we are gonna race out to left field as Didi skies one foul. Let's get a shot of that. They didn't catch it, of course. So Ian, my videographer, is going to get some shots of us from across the stadium when we go to left field. We're gonna to try to catch his first major league home run. And I just wanna show you this t-shirt that I'm wearing and not block everybody's view behind me, but you probably got a glimpse of this earlier. This is now my second t-shirt that's part of my merch line. Ball Hoctopus. I think it's fun. So, if you want to pick up one of these things, it's available in adult and youth sizes. ZachHampleMerch.com. Are now in the fifth inning. The Yankees are on top, six to one. Kyle Higashioka, the home run stroke, went yard. Gio Urshela also went deep. So the Yankees just continue to pour it on. Now, our man Bravik Valera is coming up in the next inning. We assume he's going to bat lefty. So we're out here now on the uh, flat court. And guys, we didn't get to talk earlier about this, but you mentioned to me that you guys combine your baseballs into a grand total. So how many lifetime major league balls for you? 212. You hear that? 212, triple digits. Not just barely into the triple digits, but well into the triple digits. You also get minor league balls, right? Yes. Probably like 100 of those. Yeah. What are your best snags? You've caught some BP homers on the fly. You got a, a foul ball during a game. From Aaron Judge. Yeah. What else comes to mind? Any highlights for you? Um, uh, Wrigley Field. 100 year anniversary commemoratives. You got some Oakland commemorative balls? Yes, yeah, yeah, Oakland and Oakland. These guys definitely have a plan. So, we're now in an inning break and uh, Valera should be coming up, so we may spread out. 
this dude may jump down into the seats, we might hang here, so, I mean, if we're all clustered up together, then we're going to be competing for the same ball, so might as well spread out, right? Let's get it. Of course, they throw the ball right to where we were just two minutes ago. Baltimore is over. This series is over. And for the Orioles, it was not pretty. The Yankees have completed the sweep, and tonight was an absolute massacre. They scored 14 runs on 15 hits to beat the Orioles 14 to 2. Last night, the Yankees hit six home runs, and tonight they slugged five more. Meanwhile, the story of the day for me was hanging out with Adam and David, two cool kids who made the most of a challenging day. No batting practice and a ton of Yankee fans in the house. That is not easy, but we still had so much fun. We got a bunch of toss-ups early and then wandered all over the place during the game. The Orioles dug out, the left field seats, and the flag court out and right. It felt like we covered every inch of this place. And if you're wondering how we got to do that, well, we had tickets, pretty good seats, behind the Orioles dugout, and the ushers in the outfield are pretty chill. If you show them that you have good seats, they'll let you downgrade and move to the lesser seats out there. And of course, the flag court is standing room. Anybody can go hang there. So we were all over the place, and it paid off. We got a total of seven baseballs today. You got one, you got two, including a handoff, a toss-up from an usher on the first base side. That was cool. Shout out to Channon. And of course, these guys combined their baseballs, so three for them, four for me. Pretty good day. Almost double digits, considering no BP. Now, the four for me, that brings my lifetime total to 10,967, 33 away from 11,000. Man, you guys killed it today. I mean, like I said, very challenging. It's so loud, they're blasting music. So if you can speak loud enough, tell the camera what you think about your beloved Orioles. Good team? Horrible team. Yeah, the They're Orioles. Very, very bad. Yeah, Orioles baseball. It's uh, it can be tough to watch sometimes, but this stadium is so good that it overshadows the play on the field. Anyway, two last quick things. If you want to do a watch with Zach, check the description for this video. I will throw a link there that explains exactly how it works. You can find some FAQs, so read that before you get in touch. And finally, one last thing about the shirt. As I said in a recent video, if I see anybody wearing one of my shirts this year, you will get in a video. So consider picking one up. I think that's it. We're out of here. Fist bump. Fist bump. Awesome hanging with you guys. We'll keep in touch. Thank you guys for watching. I will be in Seattle 48 hours for now. Stay tuned.